Here we are back at episode 62, back on the police uh, special. Uh, today uh, I'm going to remove the rear saddle bag and we're going to put the new rear brake pads in. Um, we did the front uh, in, a, in another video, so now we're going to do the back here today. So I'm going to get uh, get the camera set up and we will remove the saddle bag. Um, I won't talk much about how to remove it because we've had them on and off a thousand times, but I'll get it uh, removed and we'll go from there. So just hold on. So here we are here. Uh, we're just going to remove the saddle bag. Everything's getting pretty dusty. Remove the saddle bag just with our thumb screws here. Just a 180 turn, pops off. Close the lid back up. Lift it right off. I'm just going to set this over here on the tractor for now. It'll be going right back on, so. So this caliper is the same caliper that is on the front. I don't have a dust uh, cover on this one. Um, I definitely could put one. I'm not sure why there isn't one. Either it has fallen off or when I purchased the bike, it was already missing. So I might look for one uh, myself. So again, the same principle. Sorry, trying to bring it down so you can see it better. There we go. Um, obviously, let me get my little screwdriver. You can see our retaining clip right here. I'll lift it up because I got to remove it anyways. So you can see I pulled it off right there. Set it down. Just find my Allen key here. You see, it's kind of nice that it's the same caliper, so same procedure. So now I'm going to, not going to undo these ones. That's what bolts the, not going to undo the bigger ones. That's what bolts the caliper together. We're going to bolt, unbolt this screw. That's what is holding the pads in place. So then obviously this one and this one, that's what's uh, holding it to the caliper bracket. So I'm just going to back this one out. Oh. Oh, that didn't turn too good. Like I said, I've never done these rear ones, so that uh, socket turn, that was the same five that I used for the front. So either someone has gotten in on that uh, Allen head before. There we go. I just maybe it was my Allen head. Uh, maybe it's uh, the end. The edges are wearing on it. Maybe, but now I'm just going to pull this one out. This one's not as bad. You can see it's covered though in uh, dirt, brake dust, and whatnot. So not too bad. I'm going to wire wheel this. You may as well follow me over. Again, you guys saw this last time, but just wire wheel. I'm going to put my safety glasses on. Just spin it around on the wire wheel. That helps clean all the gunk and stuff off. So before and after, there you go, there it is after. All nice and shiny. The brake dust all removed off of it. So now we'll come back over. So you can see, if you guys remember the spring clip, which I spoke on, let me bring it this way. The spring clip that's inside is right here. So when I put the pads back in, this one, they're going to hook over the front bolt, 
And then the spring pin, I'll push with the pad up and then I just slide the bolt through. So just gonna, sometimes uh, these, uh, sorry, these uh, rear ones, I've had to remove the caliper, but uh, you know, other times not, don't have to. It's usually the back pad that's the tough one to get out on these ones. I'm going to jack the bike up here so I can spin that rear wheel. There we go. Might be in gear because I put the shifter linkage on. It is. I'll put it in neutral here. I thought it was in neutral. I lied. Funny, uh, the tension that you do it with your hand, there we go, we're in neutral now. The leverage, putting, moving the shift linkage with your hand, then your foot isn't the same, obviously. Here it comes. And the reason why I hold the pad against the rotor, and then I just turn the wheel and that brings it out. Um, reason why I do that is because I haven't pushed the pistons in yet. Um, it's tough to uh, push the pistons in when the pads are still in, especially on the rear. We got our, our tail light, we've got our shock in the way, so it is a little bit tougher. Gonna get a longer screwdriver in there for this back one. See if I can push it down through the top here. It's the same way though, you gotta push it on the angle because we've gotta get the, the, the front down first and then the back will come. Very tough to see, I understand. But it's the same principle as the front. Oh, sorry, I just hit the camera stand. There we go, I got it to drop out. Get it to come out a little bit more here. Getting close. There we go. So there's the rear pad. So I'll see if I can sneak the camera in. So this is the back of the caliper. Inside here, there's a piston, two pistons on this side. You can just see them. I, I, I can't tell by the camera, I'm just holding the camera, but my screwdriver is hitting that piston. So the gap in between the rotor and that piston, I have to push that rotor, or excuse me, that piston in to give me enough clearance for the new pad. And it'll be the same I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in there. The same on the back side. You can kind of see the piston there. Again, I'm sorry, I'm holding the the phone now. It's not in a stand, so it's tough for me to show you. But uh, same principle as the front. I'm going to set the camera back right here. You may not be able to see me now uh, pushing the pistons in, but that's what I'm doing. The same thing we did on the front. I'm just going to push them in see it's a little bit tougher on the back side getting that back one pushed in because of all the you know our shock bracket or everything that we kind of have in the way so it's a little bit more tedious, but
It can be done. Just gonna grab my light here. Again, it's the same principle. Um, you, uh, we push it in and uh, we gotta make sure there's enough room for our, uh, our new pad to go. Just this back inner one is the tough one to get to right now for myself. There we go. I'm going to now bring the camera and see if I can actually with this light see if you guys can see it a little better. So this is the rotor right there and there is one of the pistons sticking out. You can just see a little bit of it. Um, I don't know if we can get the inside one and then same on the inside one. I'll see if I can point at it. Yeah, I don't think I can, but it's there as well. But they're pushed in now. So apologize. I thought with the light we'd be able to see it a little better. So I'm going to pull the light out now. And then I'm going to spray some brake clean in there. The brake clean is just to help... Uh, help the, any other brake dust and stuff that's in there fall. We're not uh, getting in for say to clean everything up really. It's just, uh, just to get all the dust and any other loose particles that are up in there. Now I'm going to open up uh, the new pads here. Again, the same pads we used on the front. All three calipers are the same. Like I said, it's interesting how the rear doesn't have a cover on it. I'll have to go to the manual and see. I, I, I believe it should. Don't quote me on that though. Like I say, this is the first time me doing the brakes. Um, so we'll, we'll go from there, but uh, so I'll show you again here. Here's the old pad. So the old pad, the material is the thickness off of the steel pad backing to the thickness of just the pad. So my screwdriver's there. And then if you look at the new one, There's the cement backing, and there's the thickness of the actual pad. So pretty big difference. So I'm gonna sneak the front one in first. Like I say, um, oops. sometimes it works by holding the pad and pushing the, the rotor in. and then shoving the pin in. And then I gotta keep pull that pin out a little bit because I gotta do the same thing in the back. Slide the rear pad up and in. Up and in. There we go. And then get the pad in. So it's in place now. So now I'm going to tighten it up. Again, using a five mil. Mm. 
sometimes, you know, these rear ones, the tough part is sometimes to make sure that the back of the pad lined up. So I've got it set so I can just spin it and I can tell it hasn't fallen down. I'll also use the flashlight again or the trouble light once I'm done. So I just tighten this back up. And then now I take our little lock clip and I put it on the pin. And there it is. So you can see it right there. The pin, I'll just right there is the pin. Again, I don't have a cover for this one. I'm definitely going to look. I'm just going to spin the wheel. And now I have to do the same thing. I've got to pump the foot brake so the pistons go back out. So that's pretty hard there now. So now when I come back here, the piston should be right against the rotor with a little air gap so they're not dragging. And that's perfect. So now the rear brakes are done. So I'm going to set these old worn out ones aside. I will uh, move the tools we used, which were the same tools we used for the front. Like I say, the back's a little bit tougher to uh, push the pistons in, but uh, it can be done without taking the caliper off. I'm going to lift up the camera here and I'll get the saddle bag back on. So it doesn't take too long to do R&R, remove and replacing of the brake pads. Obviously, if I was doing the rotors, that's a different story. The rotors, I would have to remove the rear wheel, undo the, the bolts of the, the rotor. So a little bit more in depth, especially with the front with the ABS and whatnot. But uh, I do it. It can be done. If you guys uh, service your brakes uh, and change them when they should, the, the Harley rotors are made pretty strong and out of heavy equipment, or excuse me, heavy equipment, heavy steel that usually in a lifetime of a, of a bike, you should maybe only have to change the rotors once maybe twice depending on how often and how hard you ride it so i've got that all done there so again the front brakes brake pad remove and replace are done the rear brakes now are done um so we're getting down to the nitty-gritty of everything i still have to install the two side tape up here and clean that wiring i've gotten uh, the gorilla glue two side tape now and then uh, i got to do the spark plugs yet and then the oil changes and then just waiting on the bars once the bars come all this will be cleaned up and then it's almost time uh, to, to give it a road test and uh, and see what she's got but uh, thanks for tuning in keep following like uh, subscribe hopefully uh, you learn something if not uh, you know, have a good laugh, whatever works for you guys. But uh, stay tuned and, uh, and we'll be with you. We're going to work on the soft tail, uh, um, the soft tail. Sorry for stopping there. We're going to work on the soft tail. We're not idling properly on that carb. Um, we're going to change the pilot jet uh, and should be okay after that. But uh, we will be working on that uh, in the near future here. So. Stick, stick around, stay tuned, and uh, thanks a lot for watching.